Friday, we got a tour of the convent and the convent's museum by Sister Tresiana, which was wonderful. I and mean, we were able to learn more about the sisters and their charism and the history of their order. And we also got to see the church where the chapel used to be, where St. Faustina entered the convent. It was just really great to learn the story of how she entered and how the sister at the gate asked her to go and ask the Lord of the house if he'll accept you into this community. And she went to the chapel, she prayed, and Jesus told her, like, I accept you. A year later, she entered. She knocked on all these convent doors and was like, can I join your community? And they all said no, except for this one which made her wait a year. So it was really cool for me to learn about like perseverance in prayer and just, even if God wants something for us, sometimes we have to wait and we have to just be so cooperative with his will at every moment. We got uh, a nice tour of Warsaw, downtown uh, Old Town, and then we learned some of the history and how uh, all the, pretty much uh, Poland, the people had a little, chance like to overcome like uh, their them being attacked and then what they went through and how many lives got lost and then but at the end of the day their faith nothing could take that away from them we also got to see all these beautiful churches so yeah I was just so surprised at seeing how many churches there were right next to each other and they're all Catholic and they're all practicing and like so alive it was my first time actually seeing churches like that, of uh, that size and, I don't know, with all that nice architecture in them. One of them, the Church of St. Anne's, we got to see a beautiful image of St. Maximilian, uh, which was another saint which we were following. and especially through JP2, especially at Victory Square during that one mass. That was, in a sense, the beginning of the end of communism. When he came, he overtook communism, basically spoke out against it. Holding hands with my fellow pilgrims and praying, I think it was such a touching moment that I, I couldn't even bring myself to, to pray out loud. There were thousands and thousands of people who at that same place professed their love and their desire to be united with God. And to be at that same place doing that same thing publicly was absolutely touching. Oh, McDonald's yeah, yeah, yeah. over there, sister. <laughs> we'll see you after dinner, Marvin. Yeah. We ended the night right by eating uh, some, uh, our first time eating pierogies. It was definitely a great day.